This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to be talking about petal tips. These are teardrop shaped tips, right? The opening, right? So there's going to be a skinny end that usually we're holding up or to the outside, and that's going to make the edge of the petal, and a fatter end that's gonna make a more stable base to your petal or inside. And there's a couple of different ways you can hold them and use them to make flowers. This one you'll see is just a nice straight teardrop shaped opening and it's a standard size tip. It's number 104 and I'm using it with a coupler. There's a couple of other kinds and I'm just gonna talk about and demo the most popular sizes. So there's what I would call a C curve kind of shaped opening and the most popular one I use is the number 61. It's a great size. And then there's the S-curved opening. Let's see if I can get this to focus in. There we go. And it's usually made, uh, used for making what they would call like Victorian or antique style roses. So the petals curve out, right? And we'll demo all of these. And then I also have a larger decorator size number 125. So this is going to make really, really big roses. So the main thing that you want to do is anytime you're going to make a flower, you want to think about how big you want it to be and pick out an appropriate size tip for the job. So a lot of times when we're using petal tips, we're also using the flower nail, right? So if you haven't used one before, typically when you hold it, you want to hold it against right, your fingers and use your thumb to push it to the tips. And that's going to create a spinning action for when you're piping. Then you want to be able to retract it and keep pushing. So you want to practice this motion in your hand a little bit just to make sure that you've got a nice feel and you can get a nice steady, evenly timed rotation, right? So sometimes, even if I'm just watching a show, binging something on TV, get some good practice, just roll it back and forth in your fingers, right? Great. So let's talk about these tips. There's a couple of different ways that you can make flowers. And we always wanna use a little piece of parchment paper so we can put them down. You can make petals flat against. So say if we were making a daisy. Or just another kind of cute flower. Right? And you can see as I'm piping, I'm gently rotating the nail. And you can say it makes beautiful petals. They have nice thin edges to them, and that flower is flat against the surface. Or you can use them to make roses, in which case you're going to pipe a little center and then use your tip, right? to pipe on petals. Gorgeous. Right? And anytime you're piping these ahead of time, generally I keep a clean tray out and I'll keep pipe all my flowers, put them in the refrigerator and that'll make them set up and they'll be easy to put on top of your cakes. And you can use a spatula or a flower lifter for that, right? So I'm going to change tips. And use my number 61 first. And I'm going to pipe some other flowers. So one thing you'll notice with the 61 is now when I've got it against the surface and I pipe, I'm getting what would be called cupped.
petals, right? So you can use this if you're doing a rose to make the petals curve outwards or you can use it to make flowers with petals that cup in, right? So instead of laying flat, like our daisy petals, these ones have a nice little curved shape to them. And then I'm gonna to switch to my number 97 and I'm gonna pipe another rose so you can see how that looks different. So again, anytime you're doing roses, pipe a nice center. And you can see the same technique yields a different result because the opening of the petal tip is slightly different, right? So those different shapes will allow you to use the same techniques to create different effects. And lastly, I have my large oversized decorators tip, and you can use this to make super large flowers or to decorate straight on top of cupcakes. And so for this, you can see it's very easy with a bigger opening. You end up with a much bigger flower. So you can always mix up the size of the tips that you're using when you're piping to create more variety using the same bags and the same colors, right? So we see we get a much larger rose with the larger tip. And this covers the basics of using your petal tips and the most popular sizes and kinds that we use. If you like this video and you'd like to check out more, about cake decorating, the equipment and materials we use, please check us out on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School.